So this is the uh, this is the main game. There is a card which returns all cards from the closet back to the board, but that card gets, um, the moment it's played, it gets destroyed and you have to play it the moment it's drawn. It's like a play when drawn card. So this is the main game. So pretty much it's like a 2D, it's 2D open world. So this is the, the bear, right? Um, he can dash, he can run. He, obviously when he dashes, he rolls. Um, I tried really hard to make the movement, movement good. Um, and then we have, um, Another thing we have is we have combo. So this is our so the way that our uh, our combat our combat is a combo based system. So you can attack like this, and it's nighttime now for some reason. Um, so you can see that. Uh, so yeah, that's our that's our combat. Uh, I can show you. I believe in in Lloyd. So. Yeah, I can show you in this room. Okay, so let me show you this. So this is, I can show you the combat in this room. So uh, if I go here. So yeah, uh, so yeah, so the combat pretty much works where you have to break people's shield and then you can do like air combat like that. And then yeah, you get different coins. And then this is Lloyd. Um, Hollow, yo, that Hollow Knight and Winnie the Pooh. I'm using that. Thank you. That is a good way. That is a good way to describe it. <coughs> Mix of Hollow Knight and Winnie the Pooh. I like it. So yeah, so pretty much there's a whole story. Uh, the story's pretty epic. We're trying to make the story really epic. So this is cool and all, right? But. The wing thing, so yeah, but there's a lot of 2D games that are like have good combat and stuff. But our main, I guess, scene, what's the scene called? Fuck, what's the scene called? Uh, Colossus scene? Uh, yeah, uh, no, what's the scene called that, uh, the one where you're, where you're uh, walking? Uh, Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What's that scene called? Planes. It's called planes. Stakeware planes? No, it's not stakeware planes. Sea planes. Sea planes. You know, this is. Excuse me. Okay, yeah, but I don't have. Okay, let me just. Uh, let me add this stuff to build settings then. Yeah, let, let me. Arena, arena. Okay, okay. Well, oh, that's better. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, I added the build settings too. So this is like our main guy right here. Oh yeah, it's also, there's a little bit of uh, Zelda influence. So you can you can collect stuff and you can actually use this stuff, pretty much everything to, to eat and coat and stuff. Um, eat and uh, cook. So there's, there's different storms in the game. So right now you can see there's like a desert storm and when there's a storm, he walks like this, he walks slower. Um, there's also various wildlife. You can see that in the back. You can interact with all the wildlife. Like one of them, you can use to fly and stuff. Yeah, Zelda the Hollow Poo, pretty much. Uh, so we have this, and now this is kind of like our main boss in the game. Um, so yeah, this is like our animations. We still need music and stuff for this, but. Uh, with the basics coded and stuff. I hope I can. I hope this works. <laughs> um, but yeah. So he has like different points that you have to attack. So this is like Shadow of Colossus, pretty much. Uh, so you have to climb him. So climbing is like our main main mechanic in the game. Um, so we have this. So I can like attack and kill that one. So that's like one. Obviously I'm like pretty decent at this now. So, uh, so I do it really quickly. This is like our tutorial Colossus. So he's meant to be easier. Um, but yeah, so we have this. Uh, okay, can I hit him? Yeah. Okay, so now he's dead. 
A lot of trial and error. <laughs> okay, so he's dead, and now this door opens. Now this is the cool part. Okay, so let's let's collect the salt and stuff. Thanks, man. So we get down here. Oops. And now this is the smiling Colossus, which I'm not gonna ruin what his role in the story is, but he's pretty cool. So he's like, just just saying hi, what's up? So this was like our demo, pretty much. This was the end of our demo. Uh, we we showed this off on Pack South. Um, so yeah, that was like the end of our demo. But yeah, so that's. That's the main game. Yeah, Five Nights at Freddy's Club. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that's the main game. The, the the card game is just like part of that game. So right now I'm working on the card game because the main game doesn't require much coding right now. Card game requires a lot of coding. Um, arena hazards. So okay. So this is the thing with uh, with with arena hazards. What we're thinking is, although it doesn't look like it, we're trying to de-emphasize platforming as much as possible in the game. So. Um, like Hollow Knight and stuff, platforming is like super big, right? Like you have to do really pretty precise jumps and even like down hit at the right time to be able to get to the right like places. But for our game, we're trying really hard to make the platforming like not that important. So there's there's some, some platforming obviously, but it's mainly like like Zelda. In Zelda, like you could say that Zelda has platforming, but it doesn't really. It's kind of like you just climb stuff and then sometimes you have to jump over things, but it's not really that big of a deal. We're trying to do that, so it's more based off like stamina, your stamina. And your stamina depends on like, as you go through the game, you can cook and you can eat and stuff. That's how you increase your stamina. So we're trying really to, de to, to make the game more about combat, collection, and just like exploring the world than it is about, oh, doing precise jumps at the right time. Because we personally, I personally don't like uh, platforming games that much. So I really, but I really like Hollow Knight. But I really don't like the, the crazy amount of platforming because it gets frustrating for me. And when I'm playing a game, a lot of times I want to um, I want to relax. So that's why I don't do that much. So we're trying really hard to make it challenging without doing platforming, which makes which makes it hard because platforming a lot of times fills up a lot of the space in the game. Because if you keep dying over and over again from platforming, it makes it so that like you spend more time in the game because you're doing the same thing over and over again. So in order to then fill that space up like through other stuff. You have to like be very like innovative as you're making the maps and stuff. So there has to be a lot more exploration and more reason to go. That's why we have a lot of collecting stuff. That's our main way to get people to do it. Uh, no, you're not supposed to die a lot. There's, um, well, other than in combat, I guess. And uh, we actually, so the game's not gonna be a mobile game. It's gonna be a, a game on Steam. But our previous game was a mobile game and um, I mean, it did like okay, but uh, we learned a lot from the game. And one thing we kind of saw was um, we kind of like about mobile games, and although I know that not a lot of people like it. Um, it's a um, 